On a video posted by actor Elikem the Taylor uh, indicates that he's one of those who returned to Ghana, Ghana and have been quarantined uh, by the government. Now, he's indicated that he's not happy with some of the treatment that has been meted out to him at the hotel that he's currently residing in. Let's hear. So we're going straight on to the phone line since we have Elikem on. Elikem, thanks for joining us. And uh, can you please tell us where you are returning from and what actually happened to you? Um, I'm, I'm, I've been quarantined in one of the hotels in East Ligon, um, and we came from the airport. Right, well, well, as soon as we're, we landed on, on the tarmac, we're told on the flight. When, when did you land? When was this? This was two days ago, on a Sunday morning. Okay. So we're told that we're going to be quarantined for 48 to 72 hours um, because of the... Um, because they're trying to corona. control the spread of a coronavirus. That's true. Um, so they lined us up. We got our suitcases, and they brought us to a hotel. And, uh, yeah, we've been here since Sunday. Now, what's the information they have given you uh, so far? Well, so far, our samples have been taken. They are trying to test us for, for the virus. And then, apparently, if we don't have the virus yet, would be asked to self-quarantine at home, or if we show symptoms or traces of the virus, we will be put in isolation, and then uh, further care will be taken. Now, you, 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 per your video, you said that you, the sample was taken yesterday, and so you get your results today. Yes, the results are not in yet. We're still waiting for the results. And, and then you also are not happy about some of the situations uh, that you get to encounter, or you're encountering at the hotel where you're being quarantined. Well, yeah, I think the hotel services are quite poor. It's, it's got nothing to do with the government. But um, as, as of um, last night and this morning, it's, certain things have been corrected. Upon speaking to the hotel manager, they said that um, they were overwhelmed with the number that came and they were not ready. But I said to him, your hotel, um, you should be ready for any number any day. And this is specific room service. It's got nothing to do with um, whether you're being overwhelmed or not. Initially, they used to put the food on the bare floor. And, uh, you know, it's been three days, and what I know with hotels is they come and clean your room every day, but no one has attempted to even come and take out my rubbish. You know, I don't want to mention the name of the hotel because you, I'm not trying to, you know, mess up anyone's reputation. And I'm actually commending the government for taking these measures and making sure that, you know, we don't have infected persons coming into the country to cause local spreading or community spreading. So I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be quarantined. I'm happy to know my status. I'm happy that the government is taking measures um, to protect the citizens. Um, it's just the hotel services. But, but, but then again, they're, they're correcting a few things here and there. We complained and they're fixing it. So all in all, I'm, I'm, there's no complaints. I'm, I'm okay. It's all good. Are you the only known face that uh, is with these people who have been quarantined in this particular hotel? Sorry, say that again. What's Are you the question? only known face uh, who's been quarantined? No, in no, this no, no, no. There's a, there's a few of us here. There's like, uh, I'd say, four, three or four other um, celebrities or known faces that are in the hotel with me. I'm not, I'm not one of the known faces compared to those who are here, but um, I'm, I'm not fit to mention anyone's name against their will. I don't know if they'll want to be mentioned, but no, I'm not. Now, I'm also happy that you said that you are happy about the measures put in place by government. Uh, um, what it means also, that from what I t you're telling me, is that if you're to test negative today, you're going to be allowed to go. But also, uh, the worry is that they say the symptoms could take up to 14 days uh, to show up. Yes, how shall we that all the people true. who are going... That's very true. How shall so we that all the people who they will let go, including yourself, because we are praying that you turn, get, that the result becomes negative, will self-isolate and uh, get to stay by themselves? Self-quarantine, yeah. You see, the, the thing is that if, if as citizens, we know that coming into the country is, is dangerous or, or just in general, we could have come in contact with someone, then it's only smart for us as individuals to self-quarantine for up to two weeks before we pick up any move. But I think that and the government doesn't have to tell us to go and self-quarantine. I think it's time for everybody to just stay home and stay with themselves and their families and, and, and reduce the chances of risk of getting infected or infecting someone else. Because you may not show symptoms, but you may have the virus and you can infect someone else. Now, governments or the, the health practitioners are assuming that 
we might have caught the virus from wherever we're coming from, so that five or four days incubation period could be over by this time, or where we can probably catch it after. But they advise us to self-isolate. And they do routine checks in the morning and the evening. They check your temperature. They check for cough. They check for runny nose. They check for your breathing. And I'm sure they are piling up um, possible symptoms prior to letting us go. Now, one of the doctors also said that we may be here for up to 14 days. Mm -hmm. So I'm not saying for sure that they're going to let us out after the tests are negative. But there was a conversation I was having with one of the health practitioners to say, can I go and continue self-quarantine? And she said that, you know, a lot of people are not going to be, are not going to comply by the rules. So I'm hoping we get out and I'm hoping they let us out because self-quarantine will be the next possible solution. Because, I mean, staying here for a long period of time is also quite depressing. But as, as much as it's for a good cause, we would also want to be home and, and continue you know, with the quarantine process. Now, one of the things also I did use from your video is that you claim that you're showing symptoms, uh, you know, you know, I don't know what I psychological yeah. or it's, it's just, you know, uh, be, right? truly. Today I woke up perfectly fine, but I've sneezed over the past couple of days. I have... Um, you said you had headaches? One small little cough, slight headache, but I think, I think it's just paranoia because um, I've done other tests to see if my lungs are functioning properly and my headaches are not continuous. And I think in this panic state, we all need to remain calm and, you know, keep healthy and keep our immune system up, levels up and, and keep exercising and making sure that, you know, we stay off smoking, alcohol, because what, what, we need our bodies in these times. And there's no alarm to be caused. If you feel like you have severe symptoms, just... Stay indoors and stay away from people till the symptoms come. And okay, I would have to go, but lastly, let me ask you psychologically, what effect is this, you know, quarantine and the things that you're feeling having on you? I'm, I am thinking that you must be going through some traumatic uh, period. No, 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 not at all. Like you, you go through, but you get over it. And I've been educating myself on what the possible symptoms are, and I did have traces of what seemed like symptoms. But I think it's just paranoid because I woke up this morning and I feel fine. So fingers crossed that the, the results come out negative. Otherwise, if it's positive, then, you know, we're just going to have to continue isolation and trying to cure ourselves. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Elikem, for joining us. We are grateful. And uh, that's uh, actor Elikem the Taylor, uh, who definitely uh, had some situation that he's talked about. Uh, it has to do with um, uh, he returning to Ghana and being quarantined by government.